I think I, I, I gave my coupon, right? Yeah, because this, this is saying here on my receipt, 411 bucks. That's ridiculous. All right, all right. I'm sorry about that, guys. I lost my cool there for a second. That was unprofessional, but let me tell you why I reacted that way. First off, it's awesome to have more options to tools, but when I go to Harbor Freight, I think I'm gonna get a tool that might not be the best quality, but its price is gonna be super low. Suddenly, I'm in Harbor Freight checking out these Atlas tools because some of you have asked me about it, and I wanted to take a shot at them. But when I went to the register, I actually had that real reaction. I was like, $411, are you crazy? So what we wanna do here today is find out, can these Harbor Freight Atlas tools justify that premium cost? Or would your money be better spent elsewhere? So we got a bunch to do today, let's jump into it. So today our primary focus is going to be on this Atlas 80 volt cordless string trimmer, this bad boy right here. Now at Harbor Freight, they actually have a 40 volt Atlas line as well. And in that line, just like the 80 volt, there's string trimmers, there's blowers, there's chainsaws, there's lawnmowers a bunch of cordless tools. So one thing to keep in mind when you're budgeting for one of these cordless tools from Harbor Freight is many of the tools or all the Atlas tools do not include a battery and a charger, so you have to budget for that. Now this string trimmer sells for $120 and you know Harbor Freight's big into these coupons, so maybe you can squeeze a coupon here and there. But in addition to the string trimmer, you need to buy a charger. This charger is the fast charger for $60. And I have the dual voltage battery right here, the 40 volt, 60 volt battery that sells for $110. So Harbor Freight slogan is quality tools at ridiculously low prices. So I'm not sure $290 is ridiculously low. It might be ridiculous, but maybe not low. As far as the quality of this tool, let's go and find out. So let me show you how to load string in this atlas. First, you can take off the top by pushing these buttons right here on the side. That will remove the top and this will let you remove the string. You'll probably never do what I just did. It's only if you get a jam or the string breaks that you might wanna do that. Now, next up, you have to align this arrow right here with that right there. So you spin it around in the direction they indicate until you're lined up. Insert your string following that angle right there. So just put it on the side and it should thread through. Insert your string right there. Let's see, that feels better. Come on. Nope. On this side, there we go. That feels better. There it is. Now, once you get your string in there, take it and split it right down the middle like that. Once you've got it lined down the middle, grab it up front here and twist this counterclockwise. This one seems like it's not as easy as I think it should be. Let's see how that looks. One more will do the trick. It'll cut off that little piece right there. So as I was putting this Atlas string trimmer together, something about it 
felt strangely familiar, and that is because it actually shares some components with some other brands, your Greenworks, your Cobalt, your Snapper, and that's because it's all made by this one company called Global Tool. Anyway, they now have a new brand, Atlas, made by Global Tool, so the more the merrier, I guess. Anyway, let's go and test this guy. So if you like this video, there's a link down below where I did a review of six of the most powerful cordless string trimmers. You're going to want to check that out. Link down below. So let me share with you the things that I really liked about this cordless string trimmer. First off, I felt like the battery gave you plenty of power and the tool felt like it had lots of power. Also, the runtime seemed really adequate. Now that's it for the good. We got to go to the bad, which is the longer list. So on the bad side, there's a bunch of things. Let's start with build quality. There really is nothing special about this string trimmer and at the price, I don't get it. Now, there are some other brands out there like the Ego that's got the auto load, you push button and it loads the string. It's got carbon fiber, a bunch of other cool things. And I can understand that being more expensive, but oddly enough, it's cheaper. It's 230 bucks. So that's kind of my rub with this string trimmer. Also, I noticed it was really hard to load the string in this. I don't know why, it was just hard to spin. The charge time seemed slow, especially since I got the fast charger. So I don't know what your charge times would be with the regular charge times. It felt heavy and cumbersome. It just didn't feel balanced. So the last item on the list, which is kind of the premise of this whole video is the cost of this. Harbor Freight claims they have things at ridiculously low prices. I don't get that considering all the things that I went through before. I don't see the value here. There's plenty of other string trimmers out there that you should consider that might even be cheaper and have more options, like one of them being the Ego. So make sure you check that out. There's actually a link to that video down below. Anyway, with that guys, we did a lot here today. Hopefully you appreciate my work. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Check out all my other content. With that guys, I'm out of here. <laughs>